Hi everybody. We're going to give it about 10-15 seconds for people to join. Let's give it a few seconds. <clears throat> and then we'll talk about an exciting project that we have today to use data visualization for social good. Uh, let's see if people started streaming and joining. Uh, perfect. So it started. All right. Okay, so um, I'm really excited about today because today is going to look a little bit different. Uh, first of all, welcome back to Charming Data. Uh, with this channel, we often strive to develop our own skills and, and knowledge in data visualization. But we should always keep in mind uh, other people that are less fortunate than us and try to help them as well. It's important that we use all this knowledge that we gained throughout the last years and multiple tutorials um, to give back to those people who need it the most. And that's what we're going to do this week. If you've been following me um, <clears throat> on this channel, you probably learned how to do uh, dashboards, whether it's basic dashboards or more advanced dashboard and analytic apps. Um, you probably already know how to do them. So this week, we're going to take that, that knowledge that you have um, of building dashboards, and we're going to do it um, for, uh, for social good. We're going to use that knowledge for social good. We'll have one week. We'll have one week to build these dashboards and um, upload them to, um, to, to the YouTube comments and to this organization called Viz for Social Good. Let me turn on my um, um, chats here just in case. Let's pop it out so people can um, talk to me. Um, perfect. Okay. So if you're um, just joining, I wanted to um, let you know that um, my goal for, for this week or for this tutorial is just to talk to you about um, this for social good and this project this week where we're going to build dashboards together and learn together, learn from each other about dashboards that can be built for social good. Um, <clears throat> This, um, well, I'll talk to you about the project in a sec, but um, once you're done with your dashboard, once you built it and you put it on, on Heroku or uh, Python Anywhere, once you have a URL for the dashboard, just like this one, you see it has a URL, um, you would go into this video, go into the comment section, and here's an example. This is not the video, this is just an example. Put your um, dashboard that was built as a link like this. So if you click on it, anybody, everybody can see your dashboard. And put your GitHub code. So if um, you click on this, everybody can go into your GitHub code and see how this dashboard was created. Again, this is just an example. This is not the real dashboard that, I'm, that we're creating. But this is what you should do uh, until next Sunday or in two weeks. You can also three weeks. Uh, build this dashboard. Put this in the comment section, the link, and put the code so we could all learn from each other. You don't know how much, uh, how enriching it is and how much you can learn just from seeing other people's dashboards and other people's um, code on GitHub. So please, 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 if you build this dashboard for this project for social good, add it to the comment section below the video um, when you're done. Okay? Um, let's see. So. The, the 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 project I um, I uh, took on or that's going to guide us in building this dashboard is uh, the the organization called Viz for Social Good, and um, Viz for Social Good um, is an organization that connects between volunteers like us and nonprofit organizations that help communities most in need. Right. So what they will do is they will encourage um, volunteers just like us that have data visualization skills to build dashboards that help these non for profits um, raise awareness um, and uh, raise donations, raise funds in order to um, do what they do best, which is help communities on the ground um, that them need uh, help the most. So, um, for example, 
This is the last project that they actually um, released on January 9th. If you click on it, this link is below the video. Um, this, this project is for the uh, foundation of Folero Luxembourg. Um, and the goal here, if you can see, it's only one page. The rest is in French, pour ce qui parle français. But uh, this is only one page, and it'll tell you exactly what we need to do and what kind of dashboard they need us to build. Okay, so follow these instructions right here, um, our goal, and you'll understand very well what kind of dashboard you need to build. But just in a few words, I want to make sure that no, you're right. Hey, Abed, how are you? <laughs> um, just in a few words, our goal is to uh, is to raise awareness. We're going to build dashboards to raise awareness for this organization. Okay, this organization works with um, United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, and most importantly, they work with uh, most vulnerable African communi communities in different countries around Africa. So we're going to uh, look at the data that they have. Um, of, of several projects in different countries and different um, regions and we're going to look at the impact of what they've done and then we're going to build dashboards and this dashboard is going to help raise awareness and attract more people to this foundation to better help people uh, that are most in need. Here are some examples. Here are some examples of dashboards. These dashboards were built with um, Tableau but we can build our dashboard with Dash just as easy. Um, of the project, um, uh, uh, these are dashboards that were submitted for this project, right? So you can uh, build similar dashboards or you can do something that's completely different. It's your choice, right? Take the time, think about the dashboard that you want to build and and see what works best for for you um, and and for this for this project and most importantly for for the goal, for what they are looking for, right? Um, the goal of this project. Once you build a project, I'm going to have this link, so the example dashboard is also under the video. So go under the video and look at the, these links so you can see uh, the example dashboards and you can see this, this explanation of what they're looking for. Once you uh, finish the dashboard, um, uh, you can this is a very important section. Follow this section. Uh, you should sign up as a volunteer if you want. You don't have to, but they recommend that. You can sign up to their Slack, but you submit your dashboard or your realization and this link. Okay, so go in here and put your name, your city, everything, and then you can submit your dashboard if you put it on Heroku or Python anywhere. If you need help, let me know. And, and, and that's how you submit the dashboard. And then you'll have an opportunity to um, also put it on, on their Twitter account. You can put their dashboard, your dashboard created on their Twitter account like they do here. And lastly, you'll have an opportunity to join their virtual event on February 12th to showcase your dashboard and to talk about the dashboard that you built. Right, especially if you're if you're one of the top uh, uh, dashboards that they really really liked, um, they'll invite you to um, to to talk about it at this uh, live event. Um, what I will also do is I will um, I will also uh, showcase the dashboards that you put in the video. So if you build a dashboard and you put it in the comments section underneath this video, um, I'll take the next video tutorial um, that, I, that I create, hopefully next week, and I'll talk about your dashboard. I'll talk about your GitHub, I'll talk about your dashboard, so we can learn from each other. You don't know how um, enriching it is to 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 see other people's dashboards and to see other people uh, building different projects um, and, and just looking at other people's code. So we're going to do that. We're going to um, I'm going to talk about all your dashboards that you build and we're going to learn from each other. Um, that is what that's the goal of this of this uh, of this video. It was just to um, share with you this this project and this uh, dashboard because it is it is important that that. Uh, we work together and that um, we also use our knowledge to to help other people out and this is a great opportunity. Um, we have until the 31st, until the next, uh, J January 31st, next Sunday, um, to build these dashboards. So if you have any questions, um, uh, please, um, under the video, 
um, just ask those questions like this is an example video but on the video ask questions um, talk to me about what you would like to build about different ideas about different um, uh, projects that you have different uh, graphs that you want to use for this project and let's share with each other so we can so we can learn from each other I am thinking of uh, building uh, uh, using a, maybe a Sankey diagram for this project or maybe a um, what do you call that a sunburst but I'm not really sure I'm not really sure what's going to be best um, maybe it should be just just like uh, this where it's um, a corpleth map and and some and some text I'm not sure um, they, they have a map here and maybe there's some text and graph I'm not sure but I have to think about it and as I come up with some ideas of what I want to do I'll share in the comments below the video um, so I can hear from you what you think it might be best okay um, that's it I don't want to make this video too long just to talk about a project um, but do you have um, do you have any questions um, do you have any um, any comments hey Amir how are you um, for those of you who joined a little bit late just uh, just a, a repetition or a reminder of what I wanted to do um, in, in this uh, this video all I really want to do is talk to you about uh, a project um, for social good how we can use our, our um, data visualization knowledge and dash knowledge for social good so we're going to use this organization um, visual social good and we're going to um, contribute dashboards build dashboards for the uh, foundation for the World Luxembourg um, to help communities in, in certain countries in Africa. Okay, all the da data that you need is in here in the link below the video. I'm going to share this link and you can see pictures you can add, uh, logos, description, and the data in English and in Francais. Uh, I love the French language, so it's good that I can practice it here. Um, and you can see, most importantly, all the impacts that, uh, here below, right? Um, oh, kind of stuck. Oh, not 2020. You won't be able to see 2020. You have to go to 2019 and 2018, and you'll see all the different impacts uh, that you can add to the dashboard. So, um, good luck. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Jesus Alejandro, um, good morning. Um, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll take suggestions. I'll definitely take suggestions for um, incorporating CSS Grid and, and other and making other videos. Thank you for that. Um, so I'm going to give you a few seconds. Let me know if you have any questions about this this project. I'm going to write you here because there's a slight delay. I'm really excited about this because we don't really get a big opportunity to to use our knowledge to to help um, um, other communities that really need us the most. And and this is a great organization. They're also on on Twitter, Viz for Social Good, and they allow us to to build dashboards for uh, not for profits and organizations that that actually are in the ground doing all the hard work with communities that that need us the most. Uh, Wang Jia, uh, I'm excited as well. No, I, I mean the project. Um, the project is is right here, and so I'll just read a little bit about it. You'll see just one page, um, and you'll see what it's all about and how to how to participate, um, <clears throat> and um, and how how to build a that what to build a dashboard on. Look at the um, at the. Um, goal of the dashboard right here and then you can submit it to them using this form you will see here in this section and most importantly add the dashboard everybody on, online here add the dashboard if you can this is an example video but add the dashboard to to the video under under the video to the comments add the dashboard you built on python anywhere or heroku and add the code to your dashboard under here so we can all look at each other's code and learn best practices of writing code and building dash uh, dashboard apps
Okay, all right, everybody. So I'm going to keep this video short to 15, uh, 15 minutes. Um, <clears throat> uh, this video was mainly just to explain about the, the goal of this um, um, of this project to build dashboards together. Um, thank you, Amir. And um, it's, it's really great to see you. Thank you for logging on. And uh, if you just joined, just watch from the very beginning. I give a, 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 a detailed explanation of what we're going to do this week. I hope to see you build, I hope to see many dashboards and many co many um, links to codes uh, under the video. Um, I hope you get a chance to present your, um, your dashboard in a live virtual event on February 12th for this organization. I'll try to, hopefully I'll be there as well. And good luck. Good luck with, uh, with everything that, that you build. Thank you so much. And I will see you, um, see you next week, hopefully. Goodbye.